And what I want you to do too with this is kind of test, retest. So without you putting pressure on her shoulder right away, have her just go see back and forth is. and see where it's at every day. So you can get a baseline measure and see how you're improving. So since you all we're gonna be doing is getting to a 90 90 position here, trunk, humerus, elbow, big 90 degree angles. We're gonna make a fist with the thumb inside and then we're just gonna do that little test retest. So go ahead and rotate the arm back to the point where you feel the, any type of discomfort and same thing going forward. If you feel any type of discomfort. Now I'm just kind of having you rest on my thigh. So figure out a level that you have where the shoulder is not down, mm -hmm. pushing the head of the humerus up, or it's not so high up in the elbow that's pushing everything down into the rib cage. Okay. Okay, so you just want a nice level position. So I'm like up on my toes right now. Then what we're gonna do is put pressure on the head of the humerus. So find the pec muscle, find the delt, and you're just gonna kind of put that little bit of pressure right down on top of it. You don't need the whole head lot, just enough to kind of compress things, give the brain that sense of stability. Then we're gonna have you rotate back until you feel an end point now. If you're likely not gonna feel any pain at this point, it's just gonna be a tightness feeling. I'm gonna the pressure in my hand on top. So then I'm gonna have you resist me trying to push you back up. So I'm gonna push down into my hand. I'm gonna get a 10 second hold for five reps. Relax. And then we're gonna go the opposite way. I'm gonna try and push you down. You're gonna pull up in my hand. 10 second hold for five reps. So that's gonna be the first set into external rotation. And then we're gonna do set number two into internal rotation. It's gonna switch around. Same thing, that night position. Elbow resting in the thigh or shoulders in level. And take the hand, rotate it all the way down with some pressure down on top. And there's your crappy end range right there. And we're gonna have you resist me trying to pull you back. 10 second hold for five reps. And then you're gonna resist me trying to push you down to this end range. 10 second hold for five reps. After you get one in external rotation, one set in internal rotation, just go to the other shoulder and then have her come back to this one after having done the left one and see how long it sticks for. Mm -hmm. See if she can go back into it. Okay. If you get it to where it sticks, don't go into another set right away. Let the, kind of, let the body just kind of take that as is and have her move it around as much as she can in that pain-free zone. And then when it comes back, you do it again. Okay. All right, so you can do this as many times throughout the day as you want, but I know you're gonna be doing this in the evenings, right? <laughs> or so, weekends. Or weekends. So if we're doing an evening one, hit a set of it, and then wait like 10, 15 minutes and see how she feels with it. If, and if it's still uncomfortable, hit it again, maybe three or four times that night. Okay. It doesn't take long. Right. Super quick and easy. Cool? Good deal. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, model.